Schlumberger, the largest oil field service company in the world, reported a sharp drop in profits and announced plans to cut thousands of workers. The results reflect a broad slowdown in drilling for oil and gas. And as Morgan Brennan tells us, this energy industry bellwether says any recovery will look starkly different from the ones that have come before. Schlumberger's results represented an almost 40 percent plunge in profit from a year ago. But as oil prices have halved since last summer, that decline was still less than analysts had feared. The earnings beat was attributable to very aggressive and proactive cutting of costs in the face of a major downturn in North American drilling and in the international arena as well. Part of the cost cutting? More layoffs. An additional 11,000, bringing the total number of job cuts at Schlumberger up to 20,000, or 15 percent of its global workforce. The energy giant also offered a cautious outlook, particularly for North America. In the earnings report, chairman and CEO Paul Gibbsgaard said the company believes a recovery in U.S. land drilling will, quote, be pushed out in time as inventory of uncompleted wells builds and the refracturing market expands. While the number of active oil rigs in the U.S. has plunged by more than 50 percent just since the fall, some producers, including EOG Resources, Anadarko Petroleum and Apache Corp., have drilled thousands of future wells before idling them. But with crude prices so low, they've also held off on actually fracking them, the final stage of drilling that releases the oil and gas from the earth. It's that growing backlog of uncompleted wells that could slow the pace of an oil recovery. We're close to a bottom, but as we start to see a recovery, it will be very gradual. Uh, and there is an inventory of drilled but uncompleted wells that will be the first priority for the oil companies. For that reason, says Shoemaker, it won't be until next year that demand for drilling rigs like Schlumberger's begins to pick up in a meaningful way. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Morgan Brennan.